and welcome to another uh, video with Jasmine Rempel Art. I'm going to do some snowman bookmarks. So I have sketched out one here and I'm just going to quickly sketch out another. Just create my snow, add my base circle and the tummy circle head circle. I'm just using um, a Staedtler. This looks like it's a 4B. Usually I go for a B or an HB, but I just grabbed this one. And I think for this snowman, I'll end up having a top hat, so I won't add a toque. On this one, I have a toque. Now, this pencil is a very soft graphite, so I can definitely see the lines. And that's okay, because I can erase anything that I have painted. Okay, so the sketch is just as simple as that. Now, I'm going to wet the area around this snow person, and then I'm going to apply wet color to create the wet on wet effect. So, to do that, I'm using my, this is a number eight round, it's a Princeton. Any number eight round would do, or any flat brush, or any brush at all really would do. I want a number eight because it's big enough to cover a large surface. And it has a nice point that can get into these curved areas. I'm working carefully around the snowman. Now I want my background nice and wet saturated. I am using um, Strathmore cold pressed 140 pound watercolor paper and it's got a nice texture to it and it's drinking in this water absorbing it and if I tilt my head to the side I can see a nice sheen and I can also see where I don't have water. That's how I know if I have enough water, simply by tilting my board, tilting my head to see that sheen. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use Prussian blue for my background as the main color. I'm using Winsor Newton Professional Paints. They are pricey. You can also use um, really any kind of watercolor um, paint. However, I, oh, I can see it's bleeding through my tape there. I didn't press the tape down hard enough. That's okay, I'm going to cut that. Hmm, I was going to cut that corner. Oh, it's actually bleeding under both parts of tape. So good lesson. Make sure your tape is pressed down well. I did not. Oh, there's a nice rich amount of the Prussian blue paint. I like Prussian blue because it creates, um, it reacts well to the salt that I'll be putting down. There, my um, board is on a slant, so there's a little puddle of water happening there. So I've just lifted that off with a dry brush. And go back in. Being a little more careful with that nice tip on my brush around the pom-pom. Pulling it down around the snow person. I'm 
And there we go. Almost done. Lovely. You can see it's a lot darker around the snow person, so I may actually add some more paint that's nice and dark in some other regions. And the background is just blue. No other colors for this one, and that's okay. I think I'll just do blue. You could always add a bit of purple in there. A little bit of green. This one, I will just do blue. Okay, so next step is going to be to add some kosher salt, and I'm going to do some splatter painting with my number four round I'm going I'm right now I'm wetting some white gouache into a nice creamy consistency and I'm just going to tap a little bit in to this picture and let it bleed out to create snowflake or star effects and this is my kosher salt Add a bit of this in there too. Not too much, just a bit. Wonderful. I will let that do its thing while I move over to the side. Okay, and again, I'm going to get this background wet. And then I'm going to apply some color and add the salt and a little bit of the white gouache. I will do that on time lapse. Okay, this is dry now. So I'm going to use this rubber cement and Remove the salt. I painted, uh, I used ultramarine blue for this background and then I added a little bit of alizarin crimson to give more of a purple effect. On your video, it's actually darker than it is um, in life. And this is much more of a purpley, gentle pink. Okay, now next I want to remove my pencil marks good nice all right it's time to add some color into the snow person um, what I need is to decide where my source of light will be coming from. I think I'll have it coming the left side of the snow person and have the shadow, cast shadow coming out to the right. So I'm going to mix up um, a bit of Prussian blue and I'm going to add a little bit of Payne's Grey to that. Again, I'm using my Winsor Newton watercolor paints. I'm going to add a little bit of purple as well and have it quite diluted and I'll use those colors for the shadow. So I'm using a number four Actually, this is a number six round, and I'm just going to get this snowball wet, leaving a curve for the other snowball here, the one on top. I'll turn it so you can see the sheen.
Okay, that's wet. And now I'm just going to tap in. Some of that shadow color and let it bleed out. Clean my brush, dry it on, uh, tap it on some paper towel, and I will just let it carry on. quite dark right now but it dries it will dry uh, quite a bit lighter I've gone into it with a brush that is not super wet and there's a little hair here that's what I'm doing is trying to lift this little it's a bristle that's come off I got it and there we go. Okay. And now I'm going to get this top snowball nice and wet. I'm going to switch brushes. I want a smaller one. So I'm reaching for... Hmm. I have here a number three brush. Number three round. It's wet. Apply the color with this. All right. Again, just tapping in that shadow color, cleaning my brush and blend it out just a little. There we go. I'll let that dry. While it's drying, I'm going to mix up some ultramarine. With some of this alizarin crimson. and a slight bit of Payne's Gray. And I'll get this bottom part wet. I'll have the shadow on the opposite side. Tap it in, let it bleed out. Same thing with head. This um, head's a little lopsided. I ended up getting some of the background color inside the circle, but that's okay. Snow people are built. Um, when they're built, they're very, they're not perfect, are they? Not perfectly round, created out of snow. I'm enjoying this purpley gray color. It looks very dark in the video, I'm noticing as I peek. It's a lot lighter 
You gotta lift it and see if. It's a lot lighter under my light than it is what I see in the video. However, the technique is the main portion I want you to see. You can play around with the colors that you want to play around with. The one thing I tend to do is try to, um, if I use Prussian blue in the background, I use it in the shadows. I use ultramarine blue. I used it in the shadows. I try to build unity in my paintings that way using similar colors. Okay, so I think I'm going to work on hat now and maybe I will use a red hat. I have Windsor red medium in my palette, so I will use that. Still have my number three brush. This is a nice contrast with that dark background. There we go. Kind of a lopsided hat. How fun is that? And I think I can do the cast shadow now. So reaching back for my number six brush and using uh, a Prussian blue with um, Prussian blue with more Payne's Gray in it. It's quite wet. It's touching the bottom curve of this snow person. This nice damp shadow color. I'm just letting it come out. Curve. And now I'll clean my brush. It's still damp. And I'll just pull some of that out with a clean brush that stamp. Let the color begin to bleed down. And make it come out again. Just a clean brush and the color will just bleed down into it and gradate from dark into light. up this curve. There we go. Nice. Kind of looks like my snow person is right on the edge of a bank. I potentially could have put the snow back just a little bit more. But I didn't, so there it is. It is what it is. There we go. Okay, now I had mentioned that I was going to put a top hat over here. So I'm going to use my number two, reach into Payne's Gray, and Make a little line. Coming down. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Maybe a little buckle. Mm, no, don't like that. I'm going to go right across. There. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm reaching for my, this is actually a zero zero round brush, and I'm reaching for my Payne's Gray again. Couple of eyes and happy little smiles. And I will fill in this shadow now using my number three round. First, getting it wet. The snow um, people gift um, bookmarks really do make lovely gifts. I have people ask to buy them. I sell them once they're laminated and they have a tassel. And I've had some people buy them this year for family members. I sometimes will sell them at a local art store a local uh, art cafe actually it's a local coffee shop that sells local artist work I sell my um, bookmarks there there we go just I'm just touching my brush tip onto this circle and it my pigment is wet and the surface of the snowball is wet and so it just the water just carries the paint and it's really pretty the way it happens. There we go. You can see how light it dries in comparison to when it first goes on. This has dried a lot darker because um, the value, the color value mixture was so much, uh, it was a darker hue. But I'm going to do this center now. There we go. Back into my mixture of alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and Payne's gray. Just touching, letting that color bleed out. Cleaning my brush, drying it slightly, and picking up some of this while I blend picking up some of the pigment so it doesn't bleed out too far. I want, I want to leave this side light. Okay. Good. It's interesting how light this looks. It's, glo it's just glowing. It's potentially um, moonlight, I suppose, because it's he certainly looks like he's out at night. Okay, now let's give them some carrot noses. I'm mixing some cadmium medium yellow into my cadmium medium red with my zero zero round brush and pulling out a little nose there we go and let's do the cast shadow here number six 
going to use the same mixture that I've used here, yet I'm going to add a little more of the ultramarine blue to it to deepen the hue, and a little more Payne's Gray, and it will be quite a bit darker. Just touching around the edge with a very, that's a wet brush on dry paper. So it is not bleeding out the way it did in the snowballs. It will stay, the um, pigment will stay, the wet pigment will stay right where I put it. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to clean my brush. It's still wet, but it's clean, and now I'm going to encourage it to move out into just the wet water. And then it's going to run down because I'm working on a slanted surface. My board is slanted. It's raised and it will bleed out a bit. There we go. Creates a nice gradated look. Okay, these snow people need. Um, I want to go back into my red pigment and add some alizarin crimson just to deepen that red and then I will touch up this side of the hat the toque darken it up a bit get my brush this is a number two round wet with clean water and just begin again just to pull some of this out, but I want it lighter on this side where the light hits the snow person. There we go. And now I want to create a um, scarf. So I have my number three round and I'm just getting that cadmium, a cadmium red medium again. It's a dry, wet paint on dry paper. Gives me lots of control. And the tip of this brush enables me to, again, just draw on what I want to draw on. Pull this down. And add a few tassels. And I will make it look a bit like it's going towards the back of the snow person here. Good. I like that. I'm going to lift a little bit that pigment here. Having a wet brush, um, excuse me, cleaning off my brush and drying it a little bit and then lifting some of that color. It'll give a little bit of a lighter effect on the one side. On the other side I'm going to add a little bit of that alizarin crimson mixture to deepen the shadow side. Okay, I'll add some buttons now to the front to the snow person. I've used Payne's Gray with a little bit of Prussian Blue. And some arms. For the arms, I'm going to use my rigger brush. I'm going into my Burnt Umber. 
and I'm adding some Payne's Gray to that burnt umber. Twigs. have them resting on his hips. I feel that he's maybe a little too twiggy. Might be a little late to lift off this part. I'm going to try. I've got a wet brush and I'm going to dab my Kleenex and off it goes. I'm going to lift wet brush Kleenex, dab, and off it goes. It's like a nice magic eraser, just wet, wet and lift. There we go. He's pretty cute. Okay, now. I want to add a couple more effects into the snow. So I'm going to get some of the purple mixed with some Prussian blue. That purple um, was a bit in the shadow. I put a little bit in the shadow. Okay, just kind drag it across the snow a little bit. Get my brush wet. Pull some of that down. Just to add a few shadows in the snow. Tap in a couple of little dots. Prussian blue here and there. Taps, break it up a bit. There we go. Just adds a little bit of interest in the snow. Maybe this is another snow person coming over the hill. Maybe this one just climbed over and there's a friend popping over their side. Okay, let's get this. Um, a little bit of shadow into this pom-pom. I just tapped a bit of my Prussian blue shadow color, a wet brush. Let it bleed out the same as I did for the... Oops, I lifted off too much of that. There we go. Tap in some color here. And let's add a little bit of shadow here as well. And let's take some under here. Pull it down with a wet brush. Let it bleed out a bit. Good. It's almost matching the sky behind, so I want to lift off some so it doesn't look like he's in half. Okay. A little bit of shadow under the hat. A little bit of shadow under the scarf. A little extra bit. 
right here. Hmm, he's looking pretty good. I think he's pretty much done. I would like to sign it and tap some snow. So to sign, I'm just going to use my rigger brush, just put my initials, JR, Jasmine Rempel, and I'm going to my number three brush, getting it wet, taking some of that white gouache and tapping some in. It's not wet enough. Nothing's coming off my taps. There we go. There's a little bit of snow. Nice. Okay. Let's peel this back and have a look. I love this part. Oh, it didn't bleed out. Good. I have nice crisp borders. All right. So, what I would do now is laminate this. Uh, once I have four, I laminate four, and then I hole punch a hole and add a tassel. This one is not finished yet, so I'm going to put this on time lapse and finish this one. Okay, I'm all done. Here is, oops, I've just dropped a little lamp. Here is one sweet little snow person. And the other. How fun is that? I hope you get a chance to try these bookmarks. Um, you in a video, another video that I made, um, it has laminating in the title. I actually show how I laminate the bookmarks. Oh, actually, I took that video off, so I don't actually have a tutorial showing how to laminate these yet. Um, however, stay posted because one might be coming soon. I hope you enjoyed making bookmarks with me. Please send me a message. Um, if you've painted these, uh, share a photo, tag me on Instagram, or send it to Facebook Messenger, or perhaps you can upload a video on YouTube. I don't know, I'm pretty new, or a uh, photo on YouTube. I don't know, I'm pretty new on here, but, um, you can find me at Jasmine Rempel Art on Instagram, on Etsy, um, at my website, and on Facebook. Facebook is personal, my personal account. I don't actually have um, a Facebook art account. It's just Jasmine Rempel there, not Jasmine Rempel Art. Anyway, uh, bye for now. Until next time.